friends, good morning. My name is Makran Mane. I am WordPress enthusiast. I started my journey with WordPress since 2011. I was a, a freelancer. I started with uh, one small project and today we are an agency in, uh, located in Kolhapur. So my company name is WBG Solutions LLP. I am designated partner and founder. Okay, what we are going to cover in next 30 minutes, uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at WBCLI, I'm not teaching here, but uh, we can see how we can uh, resolve our day-to-day -day, uh, problems or repeated work with WBCLI. So before I begin my session, I just want to know uh, how many know WordPress since uh, 6 months but less than 1 year. Okay, one person. Okay, and I started my journey since 2011. It's a decade. Uh, and how many of you are uh, no WordPress more than a year? Oh, not off. How many of you are more, no WordPress more than a three years? Oh, not off. How many of you know WordPress more than five years? Oh, that's a good start. How many of you know SSH or Shell? Come on, Trump. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let me begin with my session. So, WPCLI is just a WordPress command line interface. All of you know. Okay. So, WPCLI is just a uh, command line tool that allows you manage WordPress using command line. And you can take the all information from WPCLI.org. So, anyone who uh, Anybody who is using WordPress can use WPCLI for their day-to-day -day operations, uh, especially uh, developers, theme designers, server administration. They can do a lot of complicated things also using WPCLI. So this is a simple structure of WPCLI command line. Uh, you have to start with the WP, then you have to uh, give the main command. If you are uh, dealing with the plugin, you have to write plugin. If you are dealing with theme, theme. If you are uh, dealing with the WordPress code, you have to write code. Okay. All the command lines you will see, you can see on the documentation. WordPress has a great documentation, isn't it? Yes. Right? So, just go to the WPCLI.org and you will find all the data needed to start with the WPCLI. Okay. okay. Then uh, you have to write the sub command. If you, I uh, am just giving one example here. Uh, you can get a lot of examples, lot of code, lot of documentation uh, on ORG. So after main command, you have to write sub command. Like if you are uh, installing plugin or if you are deleting plugin, activating, then you have to pass the parameter. Suppose here I am uh, installing content from server plugin, and then you can pass the flag to activate. So it will download plugin and it will automate. So when you are on the interface. You have to do this in the two steps. First, you go to the install plugins, you search, then you first install and then you click activate. And this can be done in a single command, single sentence. Okay. Let's see common use cases of WPCLI. These are the common use cases anybody can do. You can, uh, just like I shown in example, you can automate plugin and theme installation their management, their updation, okay, then database maintenance, you can optimize database, remove revisions and all the stuff like that you can do, then user account administration, creating lot of users in a single hand, managing all the users, content import and export, if you are importing a lot of data and if you want to export data, if you want to just uh, export your database, you can do security and backup operations, then multi site management, media file handling, file manipulation, post and page creation, like uh, creating dummy post. If you set up the WordPress and you need uh, uh, 100 of dummy posts for the testing, if you go to the back end, if you click add and type and publish, how much time it will take? How much time? Two minutes, three minutes for creating hundred posts. 
It will take two three minutes. No, it will take half an hour. If you are creating manually, it it can be done in a seconds. Then chart theme creation. Uh, if you are uh, writing a plugin code, you can uh, scaffold the plugin also. Okay, these are the common use cases. Let's move to something advanced. Okay. One by one. One by one. Okay. So uh, this is one issue. Getting time out. How many face this issue? How many of you using shared hosting? And shared hosting pe jab five zero to get your time out error aata hai, to aap log kya karte? Hosting wale ko call call karte? Correct. Hosting wala kya bolta hai? Hum fix karke denge bolta hai? Nahi bolega. Wo kya bolega? Sir, ye shared hosting hai. Yahan pe itna hi resource allocated kiya jata hai. Agar aapko isse jada performance ki zarurat hai, to aap hamara VPS le sakte hai, dedicated server le sakte hai. Correct? Yehi hota hai? Correct. So, to agar five zero to aaye. तो कॉल करने की जरूरत नहीं है हमारे पास अभी क्या है डब्ल्यूपीसी का है तो टाइम आउट कब होता है फाइव जीरो टू टाइम आउट कब होता है जब पीएचपी का एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम होता है 300 सेकंड्स एंड आपका एग्जीक्यूशन उससे ज्यादा चला जाता है सो so, आपका जो पीएचपी एग्जीक्यूशन चल रहा है थ्रू ब्राउजर उसको टाइम आउट होता है बट जब आप कमांड लाइन यूज कर रहे हैं दैट कैन बी एक्सटेंडेड वो आप जब तक खत्म नहीं होता तब तक वो काम करता रहता है और वहां पे आपको टाइम आउट एरर नहीं आता Uh, importing lot of data, so just so if you have a lot of data, thousands of thousands of file uh, line of uh, data or any custom imports, you can do via WPCLI. Then, if you want to export the data in simple format, it can be done in seconds. Or if you have some uh, custom format. You can also do without coding. Next, and then the magical thing you can write your your own WPCLI command, and it's very pretty easy. You uh, there is just a one page documentation. If you read that one page, you can write your own command, and you can write the command the way you want, and many more things. That's beyond imagination. You can do with the WPCLI. Let's move ahead. Okay, stop. So the point comes why I'm giving this session. Okay, so uh, I'm using WordPress since 2011, a decade ago. Okay, and how many of you are uh, agencies? How many of you developers who set up the first project for any any project? Okay, okay. And uh, how many of our freelancer designers who set up the WordPress? Okay. How how you set up WordPress? You are going to software killers and set up. How many of you using software killers? Okay. Yeah. So this is first operation we do. When we receive the project, I also receive the project. I have a lot of projects to set up each and every month as a uh, project lead and owner of the company. So after installing WordPress, do we use WordPress as it is? No. Every project is a blogging. WordPress is a blogging platform, but we don't use WordPress for blog. Every project is made. Uh, to create some uh, agency website or uh, some e-commerce website, you have maybe have a uh, portfolio website, correct? So there are different use cases for each client, and that's why we modify the WordPress or every time we remove some default settings from WordPress, correct? Am I right? Yeah. So these are some the uh, default operation we do. In my day to day life, so like installing WordPress after installing, we how many of you use the default theme 2013, 2023? No one using 
everybody removes that default theme and use your favorite theme like Astra or anything. I am not promoting Astra here. Okay, that is I am daily using. And then uh, creating child theme. How many of you create child theme? Okay, many. Many uh, who are designers maybe don't use, they are using just page builders, right? And if sometimes we need uh, to write some extra CSS or code, we are using child theme. Uh, after creating child theme, we have to collaborate with our team, right? That's why we are using Git repo. So we have to push that uh, child theme to Git repo and share with our team. Next. Adding regularly used plugins for contact forms, page builders, SEO. For this stuff, we use a regular set of plugins. For every project, we don't uh, do R&D. That for this project, I will use Elementor. For this, I will use DB Builder, right? So we have our own set every time to use. So configuring, if you are using any paid theme or paid license, you are configuring license when setting up, you are using uh, your own configuration for WordPress, uh, for plugins, uh, then So uh, creating your developer users, removing the default data and writing like a sample post, sample page, then import own data, file manipulation, a WP hardening, if you, if you are adding some uh, default variables to harden your WP config file, right? These are the day-to-day -day operations I do in my office. How many of you do similar operations with every project? 50% of this. Okay. So, it was a really boring to do repeated operations. It's like this. I have to do every time this. Barbar jis kaam ko padta hai karna, usi ko aaj automate karna. Correct? So, Baba, we come to Kare, Aj Ega Tamana, and Ham Amana Kush Kam, Automate Kasa Teto, Hame Karna Chaye, and is cheese me, Hame help on Kasa Ta and WPCL. Uskele bus, Thoda in knowledge Chaye Hame to copy paste the code and Thoda think Karna, Ki Abi Yaka, other E operation to automate Karna, to punch a WPCL and a command which help Kasa Ta, and Thoda search Karinge, command will jate. Stack overflow pe, or jaga pe, okay? Like automation. No need to spend time in the repeated work. And jo ye day to day life me har project ke liye bol raha. Isme ek apne char paanch ghante to jaate hain. Agar chat thing create karna hai, ke repo push karo, default data nikalo, apna data import karo. Isme char paanch ghante ka time jayega har ek project ke liye. So, if you have a password, you can use it. Is it good or better? Better? Okay. So, let's do some automation and magic in 5 minutes. I will show the demo from my own office. I will set up the office. I will show you how to do it. You can use the shell, uh, SSH, putty, or uh, putty on Windows. Or Terminal on Linux and Mac OS. So I am using shared hosting here to set up my staging site. And here I am directly here I am going to use the terminal so I am using it. I am going out. Let's go outside. Suppose that worldcamp.org website we have to make now. So worldcamp.org I am going to set up a staging site here. So my structure is that my staging domain is slash domain name. In the staging domain name. Slash domain name. I am going to set up a staging site in the staging folder. And I have made a shell file that I will show later. So I am using bash. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. This is my shell file. So it is asking for a folder name. I use folder name. Wordcamp.org So it is asking for right now child theme name. So I am putting wordcamp. So I will use Astra theme and I will create a child theme name uh, WordCamp here. Then it is asking for site name. 
then I will create one database for you. Then prefix you may keep it WP or default. Then uh, every time I have to ask one developer, we have all the email address with the at the rate So I am just writing the first name from the email. Okay. Then it is asking me, I have one uh, startup child thing. I will add it. Then it is asking me, uh, should I create a child theme and send it to Bitbucket? Yeah, I will select yes. Then I have some other automation for e-commerce. So that will time I will skip it. Okay. And this is done with uh, taking my inputs and right now it, it will start its magic from downloading WordPress. And creates WP config file for me. Once the file is created, it creates all the default WordPress tables, configures WordPress initial installation. After that, it is installing all the plugins which I require in my day to day work on WordPress projects. Plugins from WordPress repository, paid plugins, once all those plugins are installed, those get activated immediately. After all these plugins, are activated uh, it activates licenses for me for plugins which i have purchased so i don't need to find license key every time for each project and activate them those are stored securely on my server and it just configures for me once all the plugins are configured it configures my wordpress default settings which i need need for regular project and it removes all unwanted themes plugins and posts from wordpress it has created an account for my first developer it prepares the child theme and activating the child theme it is importing all the default posts which i need for wordpress and it gives some instruction to me to configure it manually once i open the wordpress right now it's pushing my child theme to beat bucket so my developer just go to Bitbucket and close the repo and start the work and we are done.